community. Us gamers know a lot about community, especially us on the internet. This week we had the great fortune of chatting to Brad Pigeon, our particular region's EA community manager. Also, we chat to Nashif from MWeb's Gamers in Beta, which is an amazing program that MWeb are running extramurally so that you can improve your gaming ability. Let's kick it. This is the news on Games on TV. The battle for online distribution between Steam and Origin is getting hotter. Excuse the pun, Steam and all that. Origin have signed on 11 new publishers and just goes to show that they aren't going anywhere. Who do you think will win? Or is there room for two of them in one space? Bioshock Infinite is getting an infinitely infinite difficult difficulty mode. Whew. It's called 1999 after the year that they released System Shock 2. Hardcore games are gonna love it because it's got a hardwired game over feature. Read the article, it is fantastic. If you consider yourself a hardcore gamer, this hidden mode in Bioshock Infinite might be the game for you. Zay Creel has dropped off this year's top 25 anticipated games for 2012. If you want to see what they are, we've done the list a little bit more constructively. You can head over to mweb.co.za forward slash games. How we've done it is we've broken it down into different genres, so you can see the top five games in every single genre. We're cool like that. We're sitting at the M Cave at the MWeb headquarters with Brad Pigeon. He's the EA community manager for the Asia Pacific region, and we fall under the Asia Pacific region and South Africa, so welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So Brad, what is your role at EA and what are your responsibilities? So my role at EA is to look after our community and social media engagement across our nine countries that uh, form Asia Pacific. Of course that starts all the way back in New Zealand, Australia, throughout Asia, Japan and of course here in South Africa. So probably the moral of the story of that is I don't sleep very much. But as a gamer that's all good. Um, so it's my responsibility to drive our engagement with our community and also through social, so Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. So it's really engaging the audience, listening to the audience and getting that feedback and then taking it through the EA organisation to ensure that we continually improve, we continually listen to the community, and that we just ensure that we make the best games for everyone that we can. You took the EA Australian Facebook group from 700 users to over 105,000 viewed users in like under nine months. How did you do that? Well, the, good, the interesting thing about Australia is that I believe has the highest uh, minutes per week usage of Facebook per capita in the entire world. So just on a Facebook thing, not even getting into the gaming, has a really engaged audience. But, uh, for example, my previous employer, uh, Xbox, uh, they were at 120,000 when I started at EA about nine months ago. So the audience is there. There is a really engaged community audience within Australia. So what all it meant is that we really need to be smart and we needed to re be engaged every single day with our Facebook community. So it started nice and slowly, but then we ran a few competitions, we really started engaging that way, and that's when we really started seeing the growth because people were like, hey, EA is serious about listening to us, EA is serious about the community here, and hey, they're giving away a whole bunch of their games, so let's get involved, let's share this with our friends. What's your community strategy internationally? So for me it's about a number of different things. I work very closely with the global community managers at each of the uh, major titles, so your FIFAs, your Battlefields, your Sims, uh, Need for Speed. So we work with those teams very closely to ensure that we're getting the right messages from them that they want to share with everyone globally and to ensure we then give a local voice to it. That's very important, having both the global information but people want to hear from their local people. They want to know that someone locally is actually listening and actually talking to them. One of the great successes we've had um, that I definitely want to um, replicate here in, a, in South Africa is to ensure that, again, when we're posting, people know that we always sign off in back in Australia and also here when I answer, I always sign off with Pidgeot, my game tag, or my online identity. So people know it's not just a, you know, a, a, someone who's not part of the EA family to ensure that people are going, well, they're actually listening, they're actually talking to me one-on-one. -on -one. That's really important. How can the community get hold of you? There's a number of different ways. Uh, they can follow our uh, EA South Africa Twitter, which is EA underscore South Africa. If they want, they can follow me, um, but I talk about all sorts of random stuff, um, sport included, so I'm sure I'll get some uh, rugby sledges between the spring box and uh, wallabies, but that's fine. I love it, bring it on. Um, so my uh, Twitter is at uh, Pidgeot, P-I-D-G-E-O. Um, hopefully my Australian accent didn't butcher that too much. Um, but then you can also join our Facebook page, which is uh, EA Game South Africa, or one word, or just search for EA South Africa on Facebook. If you see me on a game, feel free to steal my dog tags or beat me 8 nil on FIFA, it's all good, bring it on. It's all about just having fun with the community. So please reach out, we want to hear from people, we want to listen, and we just want to enjoy our games with the guys who allow us to make these great games, which is the community at large. 
now it's time for community stuff. We're chilling with Nasheed from MWeb's Game Isn't Better, or Gib, as we like to call it. He is involved with the program, and uh, he's going to chat to us a little bit about what the program actually is and why you should join it. Welcome, Nasheed. Nasheed, what is Game Isn't Better? Game Isn't Better is basically a community project where uh, young and upcoming gamers can actually join the program and learn how to play the game. So basically, get your kick idea up. Uh, Get to know the maps, get to know the weapons, get to know how to fly the tank, uh, jets, how to get driving tanks, etc. What is your role in Gamers and Better? Okay, my role in Gamers and Better is I'm the head of Gamers and Better. Basically, what I do is I facilitate everything, uh, trainers, and I'm one of the trainers as well. So, including myself, we have five trainers, which train uh, 20 guys online. Why should a gamer join GIMP, and uh, what can you learn? in the system. Why should a gamer join Gamers in Beta? Because one, you get your KD up. Uh, two, you learn the map from a different point of view. Because, I mean, if a gamer plays a game, he looks at it from his point of view. Joining Gamers in Beta, you will learn from five different guys, different aspects of the map. Where to camp, where to sit, where to camp, where not to go, stuff like that. Um, also what you do, for a new upcoming gamer, we teach him what class to start with, uh, what, how to customize the gun, um, how to basically, um, where to go exactly, where the, end, where the, where the enemy will sit, uh, stuff like that. Okay, to join Gamers in Banner, all you have to do is go to the Game Zone forum, um, and to sign up on the Game Zone forum, all you have to do is put on your gaming nick, uh, line speed, and if your game is up to date. Guys, shot for watching. Go join Gib if you're interested in improving your gaming skill and have a fantastic weekend gaming. Tell us what you're going to be playing this weekend in the comment section below or give us a video response if you're cool and have a web camera. <laughs>